everybody before I charge my phone for a while I'm make I'm in, um I just want to say in the future when I make plays of half spiders and half men half tornadoes and trees what it is what what they're, I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you those drawers in the future when I make these men half daddy long legs half human and half tornadoes and half trees like I said do I have do I have everyone vote that it's not that dis that it, that's not disgusting? If I have three, if I have like more than three votes, do y'all accept that? Even when I show you the drawing, let me know. And also, I want to tell y'all a little something. When I used to watch Animal Planet, I, it used to annoy me and it used to disgust me that a lot of people always think in the animal species, uh, it's the it's the male job to go out and get killed for each other and sacrifice themselves. For females. Now don't get me wrong. Yes it's the females to give birth. But why can't they balance it? Why can't in some animal world. They talk about how men survive together. And I'm not talking about in a gay way. What about they talk about how it's the males. It's, it's for the females sometimes to like go out. Get along with each other. Bring home the meat. And for guys to survive. Why it's always got to be. Guys always want a piece of the I mean males want a piece of ass. In every animal species. That's not always true. As a male I used to take that to heart. Because damn. Even in the human world. They try to make it like, man, we supposed to sacrifice our looks. We supposed to get beat up and be ugly. But at the same time, some of these females out here, they, while they say no pretty guys or gorgeous men, they try to make it like we don't exist. But yes, gorgeous men exist. And I'm going to tell y'all a secret. There's three guys I got a crush on. Y'all never going to know. One is a celebrity, and he got medium brown hair. The other one, he lives around here, and he's like my, comp my complexion, like cinnamon, caramel, honey, golden brown. And another guy... I'm not gonna tell you his name. He's like a um he's like a um medium dirty blonde hair and he don't live around here but he lives somewhere like I say about few I mean about four or five areas from where I live. But at the same time, one one has dirty blonde hair. So dirty blonde hair to me would be like chicken roast roasted crease cream. And he got blue eyes, which is, and when it comes to blue eyes, I see them as um, honey, honey blueberry cookie eyes. And when it comes to like guys with brown eyes, the guy, guys with brown eyes that are my color, I see them as cookie cinnamon caramel honey eyes. And guys that are um, white with um, brown eyes, I see them as honey cream cookie eyes. That's the brown hair celebrity I'm not going to tell y'all. And all those guys, and um, all three of those guys are taller than me and kind of on a slim to medium size. Well, one, that's a celebrity. He's tall and thin. The other one, he's tall. He could pass for thin, but he's tall. Because, you know, when you're tall, you kind of look as, you look a little thin. The other one, he's kind of between medium height. He's a little bit almost, he's taller than me. He's somewhere like five, maybe about five. He's, so, he's standing between five, eight to maybe five, ten. And he's tall compared to me. And also, I want to um let y'all know something. I like the reason why I like tall, thin, tall guys because when I think about latitude, remember in geography class when it came to latitude and longitude. When it comes to latitude, I like to think about looking up at tall, thin guys, thinking about the latitude. And when it comes to when it comes to guys that's um that's heavy set to thick, I like to think about longitude. Longitude is this way, latitude is that way. And we know how the equator go. But yeah. Draw at the end the difference between lo longitude and latitude if you ever heard of it. But anyway, I like to think of, and also for females, like I said, I'm semi-bisexual. I like to think of y'all as a beautiful long latitude and a beautiful longitude. Whether y'all plus size, medium, or heavy set. Just as guys. And me with me being short and petite and a pre-midget because I'm five foot two. And then I think of myself as a beautiful human flower that's that have longitude and latitude and degrees of me. And when I'm with a tall thin guy, I still think about the beauty of longitude and latitude. Same thing I look at tall thin girls, I look at the beauty, think about the beauty of longitude and latitude. And the reason why I like that name Ritz, the reason why I didn't, the reason why R I B is spelled Ritz, if you think about it. I, when I was a child, I, I remember when I was 11 years old, I put this long slab of rib between turkey and ham. Now, we all know turkey is wide and a little bit huge. But actually, we all know chicken family comes at many height. And when you see my height, you when you see me, 
That's why you would think about think about an emu bird because, like I said, emu bird is the second tallest bird, or I could be like a semi flamingo. Because, like I said, when you see my body, my legs is very long, but I'm short. But at the same time, that's why sometimes I want. That's why sometimes I feel like when God made me in heaven, He put me in a, He put me in Mars for a few minutes, being raised by emu birds, and then He said, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, you gotta go to Earth." And that's how the human family came and got me on earth. That's why sometimes I feel like I was made in heaven, sent to Mars for a minute. And then and then as I became a baby for a couple of days, they like, uh-uh, the emo family don't want you. We got to send you to um, earth families. And here go my family raising me. But yeah, that's another story. I'm going to make a story on that where sometimes we feel like we don't fit in this planet. But I'm sure a lot of people, yeah, I just had to break that down. That also, yeah, but there's three guys I got a crush on. One is a celebrity and two of them. One is around here. The other one, he's somewhere else. But yeah. And also, somebody say you're going to blue mail me. That's a, that's a new code for saying black mail me. Someone say you're going to blue mail me. I need that to get me going. But let me draw these characters while I charge my phone. I love y'all. Take care. But yeah. Launch, yeah write these symbols down. Long, you can draw it on, under this comment section. Latitude is up and down. Longitude is this way. That's why I said in my other video, in my video a few months ago. When I think of different sides of men and women, I like to think about eating chicken where you have your your leg as tall and thin, your wings as petite like me, and your um thighs are medium built people and the breast is thick and heavy set people. Yeah, and the drum stick and the legs stay the same. But yeah. Yeah, give me some give me some time. I'm gonna draw the two characters. I'm gonna draw these three characters. And like I said, tell me if if, if I'm taking it at the heart. Because not in all animal species, the males got, why not, I mean, not in all males, not in all animal species or insect species, males always want a piece of ass and always got to get killed. Let it be some balance. And the same thing as the other way around. Females don't have to compete with each other in all species. But it's always this thing, males got to be narcissistic, males got to be this and that. No, balance it. Alright, I love y'all. I'll get back to y'all later.